Japan's diplomatic visit aims to put its ties with South Korea back on track, but in Seoul it remains hotly contested. Crowds hold up banners and candles, protesting against Fumio Kishida's visit and their country's alliance with Japan and the United States. I think the South Korea-US-Japan alliance is a very serious and dangerous attempt to strengthen the confrontation between South Korea, US-Japan and North Korea, China, Russia, which puts us at the risk of getting involved in a war. Japan's prime minister is keen to strengthen relations with South Korea, but his trip is overshadowed by historical disputes. Between 1910 and 1945, Present-day South Korea was under Tokyo's colonial rule, with over 780,000 South Koreans mobilized for forced labor or as sex slaves for the military. Japan's war crimes left the Koreans with a bitter aftertaste, hindering relations between Seoul and Tokyo. In 2015, Japan made an official apology agreeing to pay over $7 million to a fund to help the war victims, but the deal was later cancelled by South Korea. Protesters are demanding that Japan's war atrocities be at the top of the summit agenda. But both President Yoon and Prime Minister Kishida remain keen to bury the hatchet between Seoul and Tokyo. Since March, dialogue has started at various levels, including finance and defense. To further develop this relationship, I am expecting President Yoon to attend the G7 Hiroshima summit. The summit trip is the first in 12 years and comes as North Korea doubles down on weapons development and testing, prompting the United States and South Korea to also ramp up their defense.